Hello guys, today I'm going to be breaking down Jack Hermanson versus Roman Delize, specifically Roman's submission against Jack Hermanson. Uh, if you didn't know, Delize is a UFC fighter who started off in Sambo in Ukraine. So I believe that's where he got this move from, and I always pay great attention to the Sambists in MMA to see if they have any ideas that I can carry over to Sambo or to MMA whenever I start fighting. So let's get right into this. This is a beautiful calf slicer, and I love that I can use this in Sambo because I've been really enjoying learning leg locks and getting into them. So right here, Delize was just in guard, and he's going for an arm bar, and you'll see he sets this up beautifully off of an arm bar and uh, reverse triangle. Got the arm bar. Jack's defending it well, just pressuring into him. He's got his arm under here and shoots up a beautiful, beautiful reverse triangle. And he can tell right there, just a second before, he can tell whenever Jack's head is about to uh, slip out. So he's immediately transitioning into this calf slicer that I'm about to show you and I use pretty frequently in practice. And I'll show you some examples of me using it right afterwards. So he's gonna shoot, he's gonna shoot this leg through for an outside Ashi position. So he's got that outside Ashi. And now he's working to get a, uh, a figure four. So as you can see, his leg is right behind Hermanson's knee. So he's going for that uh, bigger four so he can push Hermanson down face first with the foot of Hermanson stuck between himself and, or between Delize and Delize's leg right there. So you'll see. Let's go back just a little bit. I want to try to pause on that moment. And right there. So you can see the Lidze's leg is trapping her Manson's foot and uh, lower leg between his body and his leg right there. He can no longer pull that leg out. And he's got the figure four keeping it stuck. And now he's going to start working to, to grab the hips of Hermanson. So right there, he gets to the hips. And from here, the calf slicer is incredibly tight. A lot of people are going to tap from here. And the videos I show you where I get it, uh, my opponents tap immediately. But he gets to the hips. There's a brief moment in there where you can see Hermanson struggling. But from this position, there's almost nowhere for the bottom player to go. Hermanson really can't move anywhere, and Delize ends up getting the TKO from this position pretty swiftly after getting there. So now let's go to my videos. Right here, we're doing a drill where I'm throwing a front kick, and my partner I'm allowing my partner to take me down, and then, as soon as we hit the ground, the uke, which is me, the one being thrown, is trying to submit, get up, not allow the person on top to get to a positive position, which would be passing the guard. So, as soon as we hit the ground, we're going to go live. We're going live right here. I'm going to shoot my right leg in for the outside Ashi position, exactly the same as uh, Delize, but obviously from a different different angle. I'm not inverted like he was, so it'll be the, the leg closest to the one I want to calf slice. And you see, I'm right here. I'm working towards getting that... Uh, that figure four, and I'm already going for the hips of my opponent. But on this first try, he gets out, 
So I go back, I try it again, because I'm in a good position for it. I shoot it across. Boom. He doesn't get his leg out fast enough that time, so I get the figure four, and I immediately am on his hips. Immediately on his hips, and he's turning. If he had not tapped, he would have ended up in the same position that Jack was, and I could have pounded him out from there. But that's my first video showing myself getting that calf slicer from the back. Here's the second one. This was the same drill. I was just taken down off after doing a front kick and we're going live on the ground immediately. So you can see, same thing. My right leg is shooting over for an outside Ashi. And I'm going for that figure four on that side. I'm immediately coming up, trying to sit up and grab the hips. So it's successful, I get to the hips, and the calf slicer is extremely tight, and I finish him that from there. So I hope this gives you ideas to pay a little bit more attention if you're trying to be a fighter while you're watching the fights. A lot of times you can come up with some really good stuff while you're watching. So pay close attention, especially if you have someone that you're watching that has a similar style to you. You can really come up with some good stuff. But if you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe and a comment down below for the algorithm. I'd really appreciate it. I hope you like the new format of maybe not using a face cam. I wanted to try that out, see if y'all like it. Please comment down below if you do or not, but hope y'all have a great day. Thank you.